Hello, hello. I, I'm in. I'm in. I'm in. Are you already in? Uh, uh, yeah, I'm in the lesson. I'm in. Hello, hello, how are you? Hi, Michael. I'm fine. You? I'm not too bad. I'm not too bad. So, today's topic today, it's, well, it's about something that everyone likes. It's money. Money, money, money. Can, can you hear me well? Is, can you hear me well? Yeah, I hear you well. <laughs> Great. So, first thing with the first question is like that. I mean, money, when I have some vocabulary. So, when we say currency, right, I, obviously you know what currency is. But what is your definition of currency? Uh, currency is uh, uh, the um, like a dollar, like euro, like a ruble, like grivna, uh, like any other like uh, uh, currency in, the, in any state. Right? Uh, hold on a second. I can hear myself in ten seconds. Yeah. Okay. Anyways, so what do you? It seems to me that you have one uh, open, uh, uh, like. Okay, it's close. Sorry, it's close. Okay. Yeah. So, what, okay, uh, why is the euro not used in, in countries like Poland, Romania, and so? What other countries from the European countries are not using the euro? Do you know of any others besides Romania and Poland? What about Czechoslovakia? Uh, sorry, Czech Republic. Is are they are they using uh, the euro there or not? Well, once again, I, I couldn't. Uh, I don't understand. I didn't understand the question. Are are countries like uh, Czech Republic? Are they using the euro? Uh, I'm not. I don't know. Um, I don't know. No idea. Huh? No, no. I don't know whether they use it or not. Uh, I know that Poland they use euro and uh, uh, their national uh, currency. What was the national currency? What what is the uh, what? Zloty. A zloty, right, 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 zloty. Okay. So, I mean, does Germany have its own currency? Do they ever use, or is it just strictly euro? What do you say? In, 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 in Germany, are they strictly using the euro, or are they using different types of currencies as well? Like, uh, does Germany have its own uh, type of dollar, or not dollar, but currency as well? Because I've never been to the country. In German? Germany. Germany. I th I know that they have euro. Mm. Yeah. Mm. They 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 have euro, but they uh, they it seems to me that they had their marks a long a lot of years ago. How to say this? A lot of years ago, right? A lot of yeah, a long time ago. A lot of years. A long ago. time ago, right? Yeah. Now, do you what do you think is the strongest currency right now? I mean, you, so far, do you think? Uh, I mean, is the, can we say that the euro is, is much better than the dollar? Because every, everyone uses American money. Everyone. Everywhere. Where you see it. What, what's the strongest currency, do you think? The strongest currency, I think, is uh, Great Britain pound. The pound. You, you notice, yeah. how, how, come, how come England? Why doesn't England use uh, the euro? It must be some sort of bureaucracy uh, there. That's interesting. Because they, they never used the euro. And I think uh, the European Union, they always wanted them to use uh, the euro, but they they never did. But the, I don't th I don't see them suffering. I mean, they're very strong. Yeah, no, they're very strong. The economy is very strong. That's why uh, they uh, prefer to have their own currency and not to um, have uh, a European one, right? Yep, yep, yep. Uh, can you know Canadian dollar? Even though I think Canadian. Um, 
Like our our country, I think, is better economically. is better than uh, mm -hmm. than America. Our Canadian dollar is even a little bit less than American right now. Like dot ninety two, as well. What about uh, Miguel? Do you do you collect American money at all, or any other currencies? <laughs> I uh, collect all money, <laughs> all different money. But not you don't. Not, not only dollar. No, you, you don't put gold on it, do you? Like some people. <laughs> Gold money. Gold no. Cleaning? No. no. Only paper money. <laughs> paper money. Oh, yeah, that's, that's that's funny as well. Um, but you know the uh, the grievna is like something like ten ten grievna to one no ten grievna to to one American dollar something like that. So I don't know if it's ever been like that before. But I, I noticed uh, if if I'm not mistaken that the Grievna was very close to the U.S. dollar back in the 90s. Is, is this correct? Because I haven't been in the country. Yeah, it, it seems to me it was uh, very close to dollar. But now, um, because of this uh, crisis with uh, Russia... Yep, yep. Um, yeah. They, and they, banking. They... Sorry? What, what? And banking. Who yeah. here does online banking? Anyone? When we're, when we're saying banking, we're basically, it's an action verb, right? We're, we're doing something. I mean, uh, Yvonne, what do you prefer? Doing online banking or, or going to the post office or, you know, where Babushka oh, waits? Yeah, of course, I uh, like uh, online banking and uh, I use it very often. Not Same. often, but all the time. Uh, I rarely, rarely go to the bank. So you're rarely going to the post office waiting there and, and just waiting? Yeah. Yeah, no. yeah, yeah, yeah. Correct. Maybe all just maybe all only to open account. Okay. But otherwise, sorry. Mm, yeah, but otherwise, uh, um, try not to uh, go to the bank and do everything uh, online. I hear it. when you when you go to the bank, Miguel and, and Ivan, you have to have you have to have your passport, right? Which, yeah. 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 Uh, why? Why in Canada we don't need our passport? Well, you don't need a passport to open an account? Yeah, like yeah, passport for everything in Ukraine. No passport, nothing. Well, how, how do you open a bank account in uh, Canada without... Uh, uh, how, how do you close your account <laughs> <laughs> without okay. passport? All right, you know what? You got birth certificate. This is a Canadian birth certificate right here, right? Uh -huh. mm -hmm. Or you have identification, your dr identification. It can be your driver's license. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. That's what we need. Two types of identification. But well, what about passport? Do you have to have passport open? Or well, not no. to have, but is it one of the documents that uh, required, no? No. The only reason why Canadians got a passport was to go to America. Because to get into America, we never needed a passport before. So because of this, right, old, you know, the old terrorism thing, uh, they required us to get a passport to uh, travel to America because not all of us go abroad to Europe or any other country. So we never had passports, really. It wasn't common. Now uh, everyone is getting a passport who wants to go to America. In Ukraine, it's like you have a domestic passport, an international passport, correct? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Okay. okay. Something interesting. Investments, another keyword. Anyone? What, do you believe in, in investing at all? Mutual funds? Did you? Did you guys know what mutual funds are? Of course. No. Tell us about it. What is it? Miguel. Yeah. Mutual. Uh, mutual. Uh, where's, where's my little cursor here? There. Mutual. Uh, oh, I see mutual funds. So it's a fund. In a in, it's a it's a group of funds. All right. In a, in an index, and. Mm -hmm. It's basically for long term. So because you were in Germany, I, I guess people there, they have a, a retirement savings program where they put uh, you know, their euros into a bank account for a retirement. Do, in, in Germany, uh, do they really believe in the whole you know, uh, put money for retirement thing? Can you ex explain in that? Germany, yeah. In Germany, they do this and uh, they have, uh, it seems to me that they have uh, the pr private right uh, uh, retirement funds. Mm -hmm. is, it, is, it, is it right to say retirement fund? It's a retirement fund, sure. It's money. You put, you put money into it. Yeah. Uh, so they, they have private retirement fund and uh, it seems to me that they don't have a uh, retirement fund, uh, fund uh, like governmental or some or official, yeah, governmental 
retirement uh, program. Yeah. Um, but even if they have, it's not so huge uh, and uh, um, like for all country, I would say. It's just, it's very small, like, but it's, it's not in like national uh, thing like in, in Ukraine or like in Russia. Okay, okay, all right. Uh, Miguel, what do you think about uh, retirement fund? Mutual fund having investing your money for retirement? Do you believe in this? Yeah, I, I don't know what is retirement. What, uh, can you? Uh, well, let's speak only. Let's speak only Russian. Only, only, only English, and uh, you will understand this. It's like when you are becoming old, and you are retired. Like uh, when you are sixty years old, for example. In Ukraine, people yeah. retire at sixty it's years old. Like, uh, insurance. Yeah, but retirement fund, yeah, it's like when government pays you after you retire, right? Uh -huh. Yes, you know, it's a government in fund. In Canada, it's called an RRSP, right? It stands for an acronym, Re Registered Retirement Savings Plan. So you get your financial advisor, and he talks to you, and he says, okay, Michael, Miguel, he says, put this much money for for year, and when you're 60 years old, uh, you can take the money out tax-free, so they don't charge you tax because you know in a lot of our countries they like to tax us good, right? So I told my financial advisor, "What if I die? If I'm you know in 20 years, mm -hmm. sorry, the government gets the money." So that's the trade-off, you know. Nobody knows, right? So that's uh -huh. that's the thing about that. So they what they can do? They can uh, take a lot of money and then. Uh, kill you and uh, the money will be on this account, right? Absolutely. Very strange. Yeah. Uh, and uh, how about uh, uh, your relatives, for example? Uh, can, can they receive uh, your no. this this money? No. 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 Uh, it, how how is it that possible? It's Canada. I don't know. I mean, in, in Canada, uh, let's say uh, you 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 die or something happens to you, right? Mm -hmm. And you don't have a will. I don't know how to say this in Ukraine in a Russian a will. You know, like yeah, I know, but will the, the paper that you are завещание, uh, короче, mm -hmm. It's called uh, like the paper that you are writing to uh, transfer all your wealth to some other relative, right? After you yeah. die. Yeah, uh, yeah, absolutely. So in Canada, if you uh, don't have a will, the government decides where that money goes, and they can take that fifty percent of that money. Uh huh. Really? So that's okay, but do Ukrainians really. believe in, in making a will? Is this common? Miguel, Ivan, is this is this something? Uh, could you repeat the question? Do they believe in making making the, mm -hmm. a, a will? Uh, people? Yeah, Ukrainian people. Because I, I I don't know what the how the mentality is there about making a will. Well, they are making will. I think all all of them are making the will. But if um, they cannot do this, uh, they uh, we have laws uh, that saying that that saying that um, there are several uh, rows of uh, is it right to say a row like uh, like a line right of uh, yeah of relatives that uh, can uh, have this uh, your wealth after you will die after after yeah, a person will die. Like the first one is uh, your uh, wife, uh, your children. Uh, then the second, uh, the second line is uh, like okay, different uh, lines of people. Like no, not lines. How to say this? Rose. Uh, I don't know. Rose. Family like, structure. Yeah, it's like like family structure. The, the first are the, the the first line relatives, like your uh, sister, your parents, uh, your like uh, everybody who's close to you. Then the second one is your uncle, aunt, uh, grandmother. Then the the third one, and so on. You know? Yep. Yep. Okay. And does the government take any of that, or they don't take touch any of that money? Is there a? Oh, I don't know. You don't know. I don't know. No, I don't. Okay, but in Canada, uh, we need a lawyer to do that. Same in Ukraine. A lawyer needs to authorize the will. I think it can be authorized by. Uh, uh, notarius. No, no, no. no, 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 okay, I understand. I know. The stamp, you guys love stamps and stuff. Okay. And what about shares, stocks, bonds? 
Uh, maybe in Germany you probably learned a lot of golf talk and, and a little bit of finance. Uh, anyone here, uh, do they ever believe in that? I'll, I'll be honest with you guys, I, I really, I never invested anything in shares and, and, or, or bonds because uh, you need a lot of money for that. What do you guys think about investing into, into companies uh, where, you know, like an incorporation? I think that you have to understand uh, how it's gonna, uh, how, how it's working before you, you invest. Yeah. And uh, that's why not a lot of people are investing in this uh, kind of uh, uh, never mind how to say this uh, mm -hmm, uh, both of, uh, nobody invests in bonds and stocks because uh, you have to understand what's going on in this industry before you invest you do there's 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 wins and losses Miguel what do you what do you think of what's your opinion in investing into companies I think save your money, save your get a kupilka, you know, or 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 put money into a uh, like. For it's interesting thing, and uh, uh, I uh, will try to invest. Yeah. In yeah. yeah. The only problem is, is like it, it takes a lot of money. I mean, you can't buy McDonald's shares unless you know. You have a hundred thousand dollars to invest, and in. big companies like that, sure. But nobody can, you know, forecast the future. In Ukraine, it, it not it cost uh, not so much. You can uh, buy uh, some uh, action. action. Uh, uh, bonds. 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 Uh, uh, bonds are guaranteed. It's a guarantee. Do you know what a guarantee means? Guarantee, yeah. I think in Ukraine it's <laughs> not guarantee, but uh, uh, you have a paper with uh, the uh, 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 with the uh, coupons. Coupons. Uh, when coupons are group no. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Like, uh, yeah. so, sorry, sorry, Miguel. You said something. No, no. Yeah, yeah. Unless, unless stipulation, unless the company goes bankrupt, then you're done. Hello, Stefan, are you there? Hello, hello. Please un unmute. Stefan, yes. turn on your microphone. No, I was microphone выключен там. Oh, microphone. Oh. Stefan, oh. Stefan, I want to hear you. Hello, can you hear ah, me? I can no. hear you. I'm clear. How are you? Um, Stefan. Yes. How are you? Fine, thank and you. I'm not too bad, not too bad. Uh, Stefan, I, I don't I don't think have you been in my class before? Have you have you been here before? Uh, this is first time. First time. Okay, please uh, you know, because uh, I I don't see a picture or, or your a video here. Please tell me a little bit about yourself. You're you're in the, the money the money topic. Uh topic? Like you know, menes vote, like tell me a little bit about yourself. The fine. Uh, tell me about yourself. You, no, 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 no. <laughs> <laughs> Stefan, where are you from? I'm from uh, of Chisinau, of Moldova. Oh, okay. We, I from Ukraine. We, 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 we we're from Ukraine, from but I'm I, I'm Canadian. But we're, we're from Ukraine here. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Right? Me too. Uh, nice. Okay, like that. So the topic is about money. Uh, and then today we're just going through a little bit of uh, vocabulary words here. So we can actually start on the, the main topic. Now, Stefan, main topic, main question today. Why in today's world do you think it's important to have money? Why do we need money? What is your reason? Hmm. I need money because... Uh... I can buy everything of mine. Really? It's yes. interesting. What do you want to buy? Well, what do you want to buy? Sure. Uh, maybe uh, provide the uh, airplane. An airplane? No. Uh, remote control? Uh, no. Uh, no. <laughs> private. Private. A private airplane. But that's private, yes. That's expensive. How much money are we talking here? Mm. I don't know. Mm -hmm. 
Me neither. Stefan, what do you do for a living? You, uh, you don't I'm know. studying of university. University? What faculty? Uh, business and administration. Okay, all right. Business general, okay. Fair enough. So, I don't know, in, 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 you're, you said you're from Moldova, correct? Yes. I was in, in Chisinau, the, the capital, there just for, for one night. So tell me, like, what, what's a, in, in Moldova region, what's a good salary to have? How much is enough money for someone to live a, you know, a good, healthy life? Can you maybe tell uh, us a little bit? Maybe uh, um, $700. $700? Yes. Uh, Americano dollars, correct? No. Yes. That's not bad. And uh, how often how often are you thinking about money? Every day? What do you what do you what are some things you buy with your money? Hmm. Eat uh, food. food. Maybe something uh, for uh... What about rent? Do you, are you renting or are you in a hostel? Hostel. No. How, how, how do you uh, excuse me? How do you how do you live? Are you living with your your parents or with, with a friend? I live in with my parents. Oh, with parents, all right, like that. All right, fair enough. And Yvonne, tell me. Yeah. My wife is out the door, but hold on. Uh, Yvonne, tell us how what what are some things you spend uh, your money on? I mean, a lot of Ukrainians tell me from the class I had a couple days ago, they spend. All their money on food, it seems. Every day they're going to the magazine. Yeah, I spent a lot of money on food, uh, but I also spent the money in the restaurants and, uh, um, like, uh, in uh, uh, different, for example, um, in, uh, entertainment. How to say this? Um, uh, how to say this? Uh, the time spent my money not only in the restaurants but also for entertainment, right? Entertainment. Yeah. E entertainment is a non-necessity. Yeah. Yeah, entertainment. Yeah, it's a necessity, and uh, yeah, and also I spent money on my girlfriend. So. Same yeah. yes. here, but I spent on my wife. Also. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's the same boat. Well, what about budgeting? Are you good at budgeting? I'm horrible at budgeting. Yeah, me, me too. Me too. I'm, I'm, I'm horrible at budgeting. No, I'm horrible at spending, <laughs> not at budgeting. <laughs> do you, do you, Miguel, do you ever use those uh, budgeting software no. programs? You know, the, those programs for budgeting? I, I don't know if you know what I'm talking about. I don't have, uh, but I, uh, I think uh, uh, in the future uh, every banking uh, uh, was um, starting the well, uh, application for this um, Planning, uh, planning budget, and uh, it was very simple to uh, to, to, to plan. Okay. Yeah, it, yeah. it will be very simple. Uh, some yeah. mm -hmm. the few, if you uh, future tense, right? It will be very simple. Will is always used in the future. Yeah. So. Will yeah. like that. What well, what about a kapilka? I have a kapilka. I don't know understand in Russian. Uh, Stefan, do you, do you understand what a kapilka is? Uh, yes. What is it? What is a kapilka? I want to see if you know. What is it? Как собирать по Collect. Collect. Да, collect. Collect. Uh, you can collect money with you. A piggy bank. Yes. <laughs> In Canada, it's a piggy bank thing, you know, you put money in there. I have one. Stefan, do you have a piggy bank? No. Well, why not? I mean, what do you, what do, you do with your cop? Oh, yeah, I don't know. Well, what do you use? Um... I have a piggy bank, look, but uh, it's uh, not not the bank. It's uh, uh, how to say it? What is it? It's a mug. It's a, some, it's a mug. Yeah, you're, you're drinking beer from this, right? <laughs> this is my piggy bank. How, how many copics are there? Well, how many grivna do you think? I don't know, but it's very heavy. It's like very, very heavy. You know, you see? Mm -hmm. I see. I don't know. I'm thinking a thousand grivna at least. No, 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 no. Maybe, oh. maybe, maybe, maybe uh, like 100, something like this. 100 grivna. 
Yeah, yeah, yeah. Do you have yours? I, I have, my wife has a, like a computer, right? But uh, you have to smash it all a bit. Uh, so yeah, I, 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 if you go on Slando, Stefan, I, I don't know if you heard about Slando before. It's like a, a GG, you know, where you buy stuff used. You know, people buy a kopilka for 300 grivna. Sorry, I don't know what currency you use there. But they spent as much on the kopilka as how much is in there. So I don't, mm -hmm. I don't understand. I don't, I don't understand that logic. Stefan, what, what about budgeting? Are, are you good at budgeting? You know, do, you, do you understand what budgeting means? Uh, no. What is budget? Budget. What? Budget. Planning budget. Ah, budget. What you spend? Like that. In a week, in a week. Yeah. Uh -huh. uh, maybe ten dollars a day. So you you save ten dollars a day? No. You sp spend spend. You spend. Uh, Sorry, continue. What is spend? We spend thirty to save uh, a couple of us. Uh, spend yes, I'm spending ten dollars. I'm spending ten dollars a day. Spending. Okay. Well, what is your currency? What are you What are you using there? Are you using like lei? Yes. Okay. Is it sorry? Because I was in Romania for three months too. I was in Galati, Romania. Uh, is it similar to Romania? No, no, it isn't. No, no, no. So you're using. It's not Romania. similar. Sorry, Stefan? It's not similar. Okay, you're using uh, Moldovan Lake, correct? That's what it is. Yes. So it's very similar to Grivna, I think. Uh, no, no. No? No. Do you, uh, how much cost uh, one dollar in Leia? Do you have uh, a camera and could you show us 14, your currency? 14 Leia and one dollar. Uh, I'm sorry, 14? For 15. 14. So, can you show us how, how it looks? You don't, you don't have uh, any video. You have a... Do you have any uh, a video, um, uh, a webcam? No, I not. Uh, I don't have a webcam. Okay, alright, like that. So, you said it was how much? 13 or 15 again? 13? Uh, 14. One, 14. Alright. A little bit. Okay, fair enough. So, well, what are some things you do to save money? I mean, on a regular basis. I mean, we gotta admit, the economy isn't all that good, uh, you know, throughout the world, right? Obviously, even I'm, I'm from Canada. What are some things that you, you try to, to save money on, or you try not to spend your money on? Can you give us an example? How do you try to save money? I don't say much. Stefan, ты можешь на русском, если что, ну как бы там чуть-чуть как бы. Да, без проблем. You go to restaurants every day. No. No, no. Ivan, are you ever going to restaurants every day? No. Uh, not every day, but uh, sometimes I go there. Oksana, please. Just one second. Okay, hold on. A second. I'm I'm muting by by mistake. This is my wife there. So what was that again? Uh, I'm uh, I don't spend uh, a lot of money in the restaurants, but I go there, uh, like uh, very often. Very often. And Miguel, are you going to restaurants every day? I go in, in restaurant uh, a few day uh, in in the in the few times several, a week. Several days. Mm -hmm. So, and and uh, what about for Yisha, for food? How many how many times a week are you going for food? Uh, yeah, it's a uh, several day in a week. So every day. Да, yeah, in in the restaurant, I see. I как я имею в виду, Жень, как это будет? I mean, I mean. But what happened to the days of where we we didn't just have to? Spend money, give you know, give money pe to people. We just we did a, a favor for a favor. You understand what that means? Like I'll do you something, you do me something. Do do you think that still exists in our society? Yeah, it exists. Uh, it I exists, call but uh, like the uh, things that uh, 
are exchanged uh, using this method are not pricey, very pricey. Or they are priceless or not pricey. Stefan, what do you think about vol volunteering? Do you do things for people and expect nothing in return? Or do you think everything should be cash? You know, I do something for you, you give me cash. What, what do you think about that? Uh, I think uh, cash. Cash. Yes. So, so the days of uh, doing something for someone out of, uh, uh, we say, out of their own goodness. I, I don't know how to translate that into Russian, but out of their own goodness. You don't, you don't believe in this? No. Why not? Why? You have a heart? I mean, I, I always, uh, when I was in Canada, I always volunteered my time, and I, I never expected, uh, you know, anything from anyone, right? Do, tell me the situation in Moldova. Do, do people have that warm heart feeling where they just, they try to volunteer their time and they don't expect anything, or do they, they want money for that? Ребята, как это вообще переводится? Uh, could you repeat this question again? Uh, okay. uh, could, could you uh, speak um, uh, slowly? Okay, okay. So, for example, in Canada, sometimes we do things for people and, and we don't expect anything in return. Uh -huh. What about people in, in, in your region, in Moldova? Does everyone, do they kind of expect some sort of money or do they, you know, say, no, no, you're my friend. I will help you. Don't pay me nothing. Yes, well, uh, this, uh, for a friend. Только, как только. Only for friend. Only. only for friend. What kind of friend? Is it like a, a friend. good friend? Well, what's a friend? We best friends, uh, friends of uh, internet uh, <laughs> socialty. Oh, yeah, virtual friend. Yvonne, what do you think? What do you think? Do you think we should volunteer our time for people uh, and not get anything returned, or do you think everything? Yeah, if, if you if this those are your friends, then why not? I think it's okay to spend your time helping your friend. So you you would never charge your friend. No, 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 no. Miguel. Uh, I don't friends. help my friend with money. <laughs> Uh, not with money, but, you know, if, if they needed something, would you help them for free or would you charge them? Would you be a Scrooge? If, uh, they, um, uh, if they want... I can't say it. It's very important. They need very much uh, uh, help. Да? Uh, I, 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 I uh, may help them. If they really need, yes, if they really need help, да, if they really need help. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay, fair enough. I mean, it doesn't it doesn't hurt, you know, helping our closest friends, our family. I mean, I don't think anyone here would would uh, charge their their family, uh, yeah. you know, for, for doing something. Yeah. Uh, what about allowance, Stefan? Did did you when you're how old are you, Stefan? Don't cheer yours. Sorry, Stefan, I, I didn't get... How, how old are you? 22. 22? Yes. 22. So when you were younger, did your parents ever give you money for doing something? We call it a, an allowance. Uh, yes. Uh, let me write it down here. So how, how did this work in your family? What did he ask? How did it work in your Что я? Ну вот что они. Could you explain the question because we don't I don't understand how how does it work? So basically, uh, you do something in the family. You know, okay, let's say you live on a on a village or on a house, right? You cut the grass, cousin de travel, right? And uh, they pay you for doing this when you're younger. We call it in Canada and America, maybe in some parts in the West, we call it an allowance. So you do something for your family, and they give you money for that. Mm -hmm. Ah, no, no. With uh, my family, not. It's not give money for this. Y Yvonne, have you heard about this? An allowance yeah, before? Yeah, it, it, it works, but not so. Not a lot of people are doing this, because it's just not uh, a traditional, how to say this, right? It's not a tradition. Yeah, it's not a tradition in... in, in uh, Post-Soviet countries to do this. Okay. I think so. I don't know. Miguel, when you were growing up, did your parents ever give you any money for doing chores? Chores. 
doing no chores. Like, um, you understand what chores mean? What is the chores? Does anyone know? No, I don't know. Chores. Like, when you do something, your, your parents tell you to do something, right? It's a chore. Clean your bedroom. Uh, take out the garbage. Wash the dishes. Those Любая are домашняя работа. Chores. No, I, I, I don't. Uh, I think it's uh, not good to, to make money on chores. <laughs> Why? It's profitable. <laughs> it's interesting, but not uh, good. <laughs> What? Why? Uh, why do you think it's good, Michael? Because, actually, no, I'm joking. I don't think it's good because it makes kids uh, turn into monsters. I think, you know, in a uh -huh. way. Because, because you know, you should be helping your parents uh, for helping their parent. You know, because they're your parents, right? They let you. They let you live for free. Mm -hmm. Stefan, what do you think of the idea? Of getting what? money from your parents for doing things when you're younger, you know, like nine, eight, twelve years old, around that time. What do you think of this uh, this Western teacher? What do you think of this? I think uh, this is uh, not good uh, because this, uh, we need help uh, for parents free. For free. For free, yes. Yeah. Now, at what age in, in Madova do you do with children? When do they leave the, the nest? When do they leave their home? Что он спросил? Когда вот дети, ну знаешь, как вот мы уезжаем там в университеты, да, учимся там, ну живут живет отдельно, живем живем отдельно. Когда становится жить отдельно? Да, когда вы живете отдельно? When we want, you can go. When you want. When you want. What what age do you want to move out of your parents' place? When do you want to leave? We say leave the nest. You know, like uh, a bird. I go of uh, home uh, this summer. For good. Uh, what does it mean for good? Forever. Forever. Yeah, forever. No. Yeah. Yes, so I go in America. Oh, you go to America. Yes. How long? For, how long to America? How long? For good? Uh, no. Uh, I want to go in America this summer. Oh, why? You want to? Okay. There's a no. okay. there's a difference. Uh, in uh, which uh, city do you, will go? Uh, Berlin uh, is near the ocean city. Near what? Ocean city. Ocean. Uh, is it the west? Uh, is it the western coast or east coast? Uh, Maryland. Maryland. Baltimore. I, I don't know where is it. Okay. Maryland, Baltimore, correct? No, Berlin. Berlin, Germany. No, yes. no. City's name is Berlin. In America. In, yes. Oh really? Yes. <laughs> I didn't know there was a city. You can see that on okay, Google Maps. I have to look. At, sorry, I never heard of a Berlin in, in in America, and I'm in Canada, so where's my geography skills? Oh, there's thousands of cities, anyways. I'm probably I'm sure a lot of Americans haven't heard about a lot of Canadian cities as well. So, you know, you know, in 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 Canada, there's a lot of cities uh, that are are in America too. They have the same name, like Hamilton, Ontario, and Ham I'm from Hamilton, Ontario. And there's a Hamilton, Cleveland as well. So you know they have their, their similarities as well. So it, so but at, in in Moldova, what, what age do people usually move out of their parents? And I'm guessing is it is it, it's hard. How much is it for an apartment there, a flat? How much do people pay? Mm, for how many rooms? <laughs> uh, like one room. Mm, if uh, one person. Uh... Three hundred dollar. That's not bad. One person. Is it uh, is it in Kishinev, right? No. Yes. No. Mm -hmm. In Kishinev, Kishinev. Uh -huh. And is it uh, in the center of Kishinev, uh, or uh, is somewhere uh, in the suburb area? Uh, this price three hundred. It's pretty expensive. 
Что? Ну, дорого говорю, а это в центре или в, где-то на окраине? Ну, это ближе к центру, так. На окраине можно и подешевле чуть-чуть. Ага, окей. Ну, обычно там собирается, там, беру по трех комнат, и там 4-6 ребят где-то, если в университет из деревни приезжают. Это все надо было на английском, и тут английский учили. Я не знаю, как это. Well, let's try to speak English. And now I feel I'm a part of the conversation. And, and what about salaries? Uh, tell us, can you like, uh, what, what IT? What, what's your field? What do you, what do you want to be in life? Uh, I want to open my business. Uh, okay, like a private business. Now, uh, is it is it hard to to run a business in Moldova? Is it popular, or is everyone you know work for a company? Uh, work for a company is uh, more popular. Well, can you can you give us an example like uh, the common salaries in 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 the Kishno? Because I don't know, we don't know. Как сказать, зависит от твоей профессии. Salaries. Yeah, it depends on your profession. It depends for. Specialization. Specialization. Specialization, right? Can you give us an example of some specialist, or you you don't know offhand? Если ты, if you work, как сказать, контабель. Так как? Бухгалтер. А bookkeeper. Okay, bookkeeper. Bookkeeper, you can have two hundred, no, two thousand dollars. If you work, как? Home, uh, home uh, housekeeper. If uh, this uh, you have some fifteen, sixteen dollars of uh, no, no, six or seven hundred dollars uh, of dollars. Uh, yes, it's more than Ukraine. It's more than Ukraine. Yeah. Are you are you sure? I'm not a lot of dollars we're talking. Be 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 bookkeeper in Moldova. Uh, depend uh, of companies. Uh, depend of. Uh, how how hard is it to get a job there? Как перевод? Как тяжело. Depend of uh, specialty. Okay, IT. And, and IT is very it's not uh, IT is uh, not uh, very как тяжело hard it's not very hard uh. all right well what's what's popular there now bookkeeping well, what's what's an administrator no, lawyer no uh, I want to be a administrator administrator no. for what and what? Like, uh, more specific. Administration is a lot of fields. What did he ask? What did he ask? Administrator, yes. What is administrator? Administrator of what? With my company. Okay, so a bit... What is the profi profile of your company? What is uh, your... IT technology. I say this. Oh, IT technology, okay. IT. All right. You make sites or uh, maybe application? Mm. And she open uh, the store of uh, You have a store? No, oh. I want to open. Uh, uh, you want to open an online store? It's an e-commerce project, yes? Mm -hmm. Online I store. Uh, no, e-commerce project. Online magazine, right? No, no. Normal magazine. Ah, обычный magazine? Yes. Да. Где продавать мобильник, там, перестановить систему Windows и все такое. Yeah, he just wants to open the shop where he wants to sell the gadgets. Ah, okay, e-commerce, okay. How, how popular is that there? It's very popular at the moment. Okay, right. What about retirement? Is it, do people think about retirement over there in Moldova? What do you, what do you think? What age do people retire at? Во сколько люди уходят на пенсию? Fifty six. Fifty six? Yes. Fifty six. Еще что что? Fifty six. 
Ah, oh, this is chess. 1556. Okay, and the same age for uh, women and for men, right? Yes. For women or for men? Okay, in Ukraine, that's not true. <laughs> There's a difference here. Tell Ivan, tell us what is it? Uh, I don't know. Actually, I think it's 1665. No. Yes. So my wife said yes. So, okay. So 60. So what? Okay, 6055. Yes. Yeah, okay. So why? What? Wait. Men is Oksana. For men, it's 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 65. Why? Why Ivan? Do you think it's uh, more older for men? I don't understand this. Why can't? Um, <laughs> <laughs> what 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 was the question? Why why can't men retire at fifty five? Why do they have to retire at sixty five? Uh, why because uh, because it's the like uh, um, I don't know why <laughs> I don't know why but I know the reasons for the government to make uh, this uh, age higher but I don't know why exactly sixty five. Ah uh, yes. Um, see, Stefan, what happened here? What happened here is that the European Union they enacted a law so that uh, you know because okay in in Europe they think people live longer in Germany uh, people live like until Ivan 80, 82? I, I don't yeah, know. Like this. Yeah. So because they live longer, they say okay, you know what, everyone, you can uh, you can work longer. But unfortunately, in Ukraine, you know, I, I think men the the I don't know the life spends less, so they it, it doesn't make sense for Ukraine. Did did they do the same thing in Moldova? Um, like, what's the retirement age there for men? Fifty six. Fifty okay, so fifty six. Yeah. So so they didn't change it there yet, so I don't think it's fair. But what about retirement? Are you thinking about retirement? What is your ideal retirement? Как переводится ретайм? Пенсия, пенсия. Да, как ты видишь себя на пенсии? I don't want to be retarded. Not retarded. Retarded is uh, like mentally disabled. <laughs> <laughs> Иван, can you explain the... Yeah. Uh, retired – это выше, вышедший на пенсию. А retarded – это сумасшедший. <laughs> So, Michael спрашивает про пенсию. Хочешь ли ты, как видишь ты свою идеальную пенсию? Sorry, Stefan, you want to say something there? А есть как-то по-другому можно называть пенсию? Это БС опять типа. Да, смотри, смотри, retarded, да, retarded, это сумасшедший. Да, а retired без без второй retired, да. Это пенсия, пенсионный возраст. Make sure in America, just because people, yeah, just retirement, retire, retarded, two two different things, like that, very different. I want to make сам как это я забыл. Что что? Я хочу сделать свою пенсию сам, как бы, не от правительства. Да, не ходи. I don't want to depend on government. Yes. Не зависит от правительства. Stefan. Maybe Stefan wants to fly on on his plane. By all retired. Да. All retirement. А как правильно сказать на пенсии? Я что-то не могу понять. Как как? Ну, на пенсии. On the retirement или как? Uh, when retired. When retired. Да, когда. Yeah, when I retire, sure, sure. You fly all time. <laughs> so, Stefan, when when you retire, everyone has an age when they retire. What, what, where do you want to go? What do you want to do with your life? Everyone, everyone plans this. You know, in Canada, we say, I want to travel the world. I want to go on a, a cruise ship. What do you want to do? Do you, do you ever think? Uh, of I think I want. I did travel. The world. On your private on on your plane. Yes. Yeah. Oh, hey, if you want, hey, if you get a plane. I mean, I, I'm actually teaching a, a pilot now, and he says he can go anywhere he wants to go. I'm like, wow, I wish I could do that too. But just to tell you, there's a. He was telling me an international. Um, uh, how do you say yes. this? Uh, not licensed, but you have to pay money when you enter a different airspace. Uh -huh. I, I wasn't aware of that. 
And Yvonne, what do you want to do when you when you when you retire? Is there anything? Do you have your sets set up? Do you, do you ever think about that at all? Uh, let Let's see. But I, I want to spend my life uh, in my retirement with my friends, family, uh, somewhere in uh, Europe. Yeah, travel maybe. Travel around Russia? the world. Yeah, I like Russia, but. Uh, it's I think it's um, less uh, like uh, when you go on the cruise ship, right? Is it right yeah. to say on the cruise ship, right? You're going on. Wait, are you going on top or in? You're going on. I don't know. That's a good question. Are you going on or in? You're, let me hold on. If you're going on, 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 on the cruise ship. Oh uh, yeah, when you go on the cruise ship, then uh, you you have you have to stick to the plan of this cruise ship, right? And uh, huh? Really yeah, if, if it go if it's going around the world, the ship is going around the world. You have to stick to the plan. You cannot go from one place from one country to another country, right? Jump off, so, jump off the ship. Huh? You can jump off the ship. Yeah, you can jump off the ship, but uh, still, you you paid for this and you go around the world on this ship, and you are stick to the plan. But if you um, have uh, enough money. Then uh, you, what you can do, you can uh, just uh, have your own plane and um, you have, yeah, and uh, go anywhere you want and spend as much time as you want. For example, if you want to spend several times in uh, I don't know some uh, in Bulgaria, then you go there for one for, for for several days. If you want to spend one week in uh, Moldova, then you go there. <laughs> Euro trip. Yeah, yeah. Six like like Euro trip. Yeah. That was fun. Stefan, you watched Euro Trip, right? I'm guessing yes. Yeah. Yeah? Is it called, what is it called? Is it what is what is it in Russia? Is it the same? Same Euro Trip? Uh Stan Spartial? Uh what uh Euro Trip, da Euro Kakak nas film at Nazavalsa. Kakui? Uh what uh kakta uh putishestia pay rub should be Euro Trip. Kak it uh uh nas kak nazvals on us with that film officially. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. It's hard because they change the the movies on me, and I don't know. No one knows what I'm talking about sometimes. And uh, Miguel, what's your ideal retirement? Do you want to relax uh, on a uh, in the middle of Hawaii, ha Honolulu? What, what what is your, your uh, relax? And I see. Uh, I think uh, uh, like Evgeny, I I am. Uh, my my thing is common with uh, him uh, since. Uh -huh. Again? Da, yes, like like you again. You again. Afghan. Like yeah, you know, no, no, like me. He, oh, he calling me Ivan, and uh, my name is like Evgeny, like the whole name. Okay. Okay. okay, saying that he wants to spend time like me. Okay. Like me, yeah, like that. So I I don't know, but and, and Stefan. So I don't know. What do you in retirement? Uh, do you believe? Do people there believe in investing their money, uh, putting money away for a rainy day? What do we call that? We call it a what do you call it in Ukraine? A black day? What is a black day? What what is the day? Black save, save your money for a black day. You know uh, what? Ah, sure, I'm again. What what does that mean, Stefan? I heard it. How much do you have for Black Day? <laughs> uh, my, I don't know. I don't you have mine for one thousand dollars. Do you have? I don't have mine for a Black Day. <laughs> Why did they call it a Black Day? I don't understand. Why Black Day? So I don't know. See, in 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 North America, we say. Uh, Save your money for a rainy day. You, you, you never know what happens. A rainy day. A rainy day doesn't sound as bad as a black day. So I don't, that's exactly what we say. So tell me, so Stefan, do do people? What do they do? They like putting their money in the bank account, or do they put it under their bed? What do they do with all their money? Uh, in the bank. In the bank. Yes. You trust putting money in the bank. You you don't yeah. don't afraid uh, the uh, to uh, to put uh, money in in the bank. Fun. Это меня что он спросил? 
Не, вот я спрашиваю, you don't afraid, не боишься ложить деньги в банк? Нет. я не знаю, если может там есть какая-то европейская банка, но я не знаю, если какие какие всего их 14 названий. We have uh, one um, uh, thousand, in Ukraine. Uh, banks where? In Ukraine. In Ukraine? Yes. It's a lot of banks. Uh, Most of them are so private banks. Why? So why so many? Man. Why, why so many? Why so many? So, Yvonne, what do you think? Putting all your money in the bank. I don't know. What do you think about this? Uh, you know, it depends on the bank. Uh, if uh, the bank is small, then uh, it's dangerous. If it's big, you know, it's, uh, there is a theory, like, too big to fail, you know? If the bank is very huge and uh, there is a crisis, then the government uh, will not take uh, out the, the license of the bank because it's too big. And if it will fall, everybody else will fall. Down. So, Stefan, do you have a? Is it a big bank or a small bank? A big bank. Ah, okay, you're lucky. Okay, you're, you're, you're you know what you're doing then. Yeah, because uh, I don't know. Like in Canada, they said like in Canada we only have like five big banks, right? So if one of them went down, uh, the government said they would they would help because you you never know what could happen. Even a country like Canada, right? Uh, it, it there there could be problems. You never you don't know. Nobody, mm -hmm. nobody, nobody knows what, what could happen in the future. You just, you know, hope for the best. So what could happen, you know, like that. So I hope, you know, everyone it, it tries to save their, their Copics or their, your uh, Moldovan, Moldovan, like I have to remember because I remember when I was in Moldovia there. Uh, because, hey, you might have a black day, rainy day. And, uh, again, uh, you know, to be honest with everyone here, I'm, I, 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 the best thing I do with my money, I, I put it under the mattress. You know, we say under the... Under, under the mattress. Mm -hmm. Under the bed, under the mattress. Under the pillow, also. No, no, the, if <laughs> someone comes in your flat, the first thing they go is under your pillow. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know, that's crazy. Uh, so the next topic, it's going to be on Thursday, it's going to be shopping. So I cover this... I'm probably all because I'm having a couple of computer issues right now. I'll yeah. have a, a sheet. So Stefan, if you come Thursday, I'll have a sheet so you can you can look at too to introduce some, some new vocabulary words as well. Uh, so it's always good to to brush up to brush up on those skills. So everyone, uh, have a, a good evening. I just got a new a new rabbit with me, so I have to go see what's uh, what's what's going on there. So I'll be busy tonight doing that. Are there any questions for me, guys? No, I don't have. No? All right, everyone. Go, okay, so. go buy a kapilka and go put some money in it. Yeah, okay. All right. Всем пока. Пока. Bye. Bye. Bye.